Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Senior Director of Product Portfolio Management and Brand UX Leader of Dassault System SolidWorks, Kishore Boyalakuntla. Welcome to day three of SolidWorks World 2016. Just a designer full of ideas and hopes. Badging in just like you and me. Sounds like my dad. He was your dad. Oh, shoot, forget I said that. So what happened? Yeah, he started running with the wrong crowd. Next thing you know, he does some online MBA and poof, he turns into it. He even fired your dad because he offshored the whole operation. But didn't you just say? But enough of that. We need to use the force, the powers of SolidWorks 2017 to rebalance the universe. Come on, kid. Let's take a look at how the powers of SolidWorks 2017 can help us rebalance the universe. We'll begin with my new lightsaber design, an essential tool for any Jedi. Well, it looks like the end of the handle could do a bit more work. So can we pattern the grip? Of course. In SolidWorks 2017, creating pattern geometry is even faster than before. Now, when creating a circular pattern, you have the option to pattern not just one, but both directions at the same time. Controlling the second direction is simple using the already familiar spacing options, or just select symmetric to create a mirrored pattern. Now you can create all the circular pattern geometry you need with far less effort. Wow, B, that's great. But how about we ask some chamfers to finish the design? Good idea, Luke. In SolidWorks 2017, the chamfer tool has been enhanced to include many of the advanced options found in Fillet. For example, now you can create multiple chamfers of different sizes in a single operation. Just select the edges you want to enter the size for each one, and everything is captured in one simple feature, saving you loads of time and effort. That's so much quicker and easier. We just need to finish off the end of the handle. <coughs> How about a variable chamfer? It could be a lot of work. Not anymore, Luke. With SolidWorks 2017, creating more complex chamfers is a breeze. Simply select the two faces, followed by the hold lines to control the overall shape. Now you can create variable chamfers in one simple operation where previously multiple steps would have been required. Brilliant. I said loads of time and effort. I'll tell you what, let's see what a fillet looks like instead. It's no problem either, Luke. In SolidWorks 2017, I can switch any pre-existing chamfer to a fillet and vice versa. Simply edit the feature. Then use the new option in the property manager to change the overall type. Excellent. Now that's going to give us so much more flexibility when designing parts. Let's see what else we need to do to finish our lightsaber. SolidWorks 2017 delivers a great new capability for increasing clarity when working in a section view. Now, the section geometry of any component or body can be made transparent, enabling you to maintain complete visualization of any geometry hidden behind the section plane. That's impressive. Transparent section views really make it easier to interpret complex designs. <coughs> Looks like we need to design a thread to interface with the handle. You're right, Luke. It's often necessary to have to model physical threads on holes and shafts for applications such as simulation and 3D printing. Introduced in SOLIDWORKS 2016, the thread feature is a great time saver for modeling threads in one easy to use command. New for 2017, the thread feature now provides the option to define and control the lead in and lead out. Simply speci specify the taper angle, the number of revolutions, and all the hard work is done for you. Now fully detailed threads can be created in seconds. Perfect. Well that's our new lightsaber finish using some of the great new capabilities in SOLIDWORKS 2017. Let's use Treehouse to review the assembly structure of the new lightsaber. So watch this, Luke. Now, in Treehouse 2017, when importing an assembly, all your drawings are imported too. 
components with associated drawings are tagged for easy identification, and the flyout drawer gives direct access to drawing information. Plus, the handy new print option enables you to quickly capture your structure in PDF or paper formats, ready for customer meetings and design reviews. Brilliant. Well, that will go down well at the next Rebel Design Review. OB, next we need to fix our hyperdrive valve manifold. Let's start with adding an O-ring groove on the front face. So working with sketch geometry just got even easier in 2017. Closed sketch contours are now displayed as a shaded region, giving you instant feedback. By simply selecting and dragging the shaded area, contours can easily be moved to your desired location, making adding relations quick and easy. Additional commands are easily accessed when selecting the contour and the graduated shading accentuates any nested contours. Using the new Alt Key shortcut, contours can be pre-selected so you're ready to go straight to creating your feature. That's impressive, OB. Shaded contours are certainly going to make working with sketch geometry even easier. Let's take a look at the section through the main port. We'll need to fit connectors at both ends of this hole, not just one. No problem, Luke. In SOLIDWORKS 2017, the Advanced Hole Wizard provides a powerful new capability for creating multi-stepped holes in a single operation. Using the new flyout pane, defining each element in the stack for either near or far side is quick and easy, as well as direct access to familiar standards to define hole type and size. The overall hole definition is intuitively displayed, along with options to add, remove, or modify any element in the stack. That's amazing, OB. No more complex revolved cuts or creating multiple features. Advanced Hole Wizard is really going to make the construction of complex holes much faster and all in one operation. Okay, OB, we just need to assemble the remaining components. You know, that will take no time at all, Luke, because in SOLIDWORKS 2017, mating components has gotten even smarter. Now, when you add a mate, the components are aligned, but not somewhere out in space. They're actually moved to the locations where you selected them. This saves a load of time not having to position the components close to each other before adding mates. And that's not all. It's common to, add a, it's common to mate two sets of concentric faces where the distance precision may be off by just a small tolerance. Now, the new misaligned mate option takes all the hassle away by allowing you to mate together two sets of concentric faces of different precision without over-defining the assembly. Well, that will really make life easier, OB. Let's finish building our assembly by adding a derived component pattern of the solenoid valve, using the whole pattern on the manifold. Do we really need that valve as an assembly? No, I think you're right, Luke. Let's change it. <coughs> oh, saving an assembly as a part is a great way of reducing complexity when working with supplier models. For example, the solenoid is an assembly made up of 15 parts, but we really only need the external shape. But OB, this solenoid assembly is mates in the upper level assembly. And what about the notes and dimensions that are on the drawing? Luke, when saving an assembly as a part in SOLIDWORKS 2017, all the references are now preserved. So when you use the saved part to replace any instance of the original assembly, all the mates, the drawing annotation references, plus many more are now maintained. Brilliant. We've not had to re-reference the mates or the drawing annotations. It's a huge time saver. So Luke, while that crazy music was playing, I went ahead and checked in the drawing. But after doing so, I noticed a misspelled word in the title block. Let me check it back out and fix that real quick. But OB, what about the version number? Why don't that get bumped up? I really hate having all those extra versions involved for changes like this. Or when someone checks in when they go to lunch. Don't worry, Luke. With the new, latest version overwrite in SOLIDWORKS PDM 2017, I can easily choose to overwrite the latest version with this change. No more extra versions cluttering the vault. Let's use all of these great enhancements to go and save the princess. Passes? We do not need passes. They don't need any passes. 
But sir, someone's taken the drawings from the cabinet. These are not the drawings you're looking for. These are not the drawings they're looking for. Let them pass. Q backup tells me your elevator can get us to the sixth floor. Not only the sixth floor, any floor in between. Haven't you heard of the Millennium Elevator? No, should I? It's only the fastest elevator in the whole building. How about one Bernard Cherles in this baby? Done the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Isn't a parsec a unit left? Look, we just need to get to the sixth floor. No questions asked. Well, it's gonna cost you. But we're just trying to bring back great design to save a princess. Isn't that enough? Come on, OB, we don't need oh, this guy. You didn't say anything about a princess. Huey, we're in. OB, come on. I cannot go with you. Just remember, use what you've learned. Use right, the kid, force. We gotta go. Use the force. OB, come on. Come on. OB. You ready to make the jump to light speed? sketches bothers me. You should know better, screensaver. A Jedi Master sketches are always fully constrained. And as you can see, by simply eliminating these two bolts, we'll be able to significantly reduce our cost on this thing. I'm a little short for a stormtrooper. Hey, it's me. That's hard. How are you doing? I found a droid who have come to rescue you. Come on, kid. You gotta get out of here. You should not have come up here, old man. If you strike me down, I will only come back more powerful than you can imagine. Kid, save the princess! That's gonna leave a mark. Hey, get on your laptop. Ah, oh, too late. Come on, kid, we gotta go. I'm sorry, kid, about your friend. The important thing is the princess is safe. The important thing is my droid is safe. I love all of the SolidWorks 2017 secrets hidden in this little guy. I know. Hey, show us what's new so we can share it with the Rebels using my SOLIDWORKS and defeat Dark Screensaver. No problem. All I need is an HDMI to VGA to mini USB to display port adapter. I think we have one out on stage. Let's go. Let's go. Well, here's that silly connect you were looking for. Thanks, Lou. Hey, Han, let's take a look at this multi-sheet drawing of the hyperdrive assembly. You know, kid, it's always a pain when you insert a nice bomb table template, only then to mess up the column and row widths in the drawing. Well, in SolidWorks 2017, when you lock table items in a template, they remain locked after placing in the drawing. Another great enhancement is you can now directly reference any table cell within a note. Simply go ahead and select on the cells and manually add any other text you'd like. It's quite simple. There are seven sheets to detail this model. So let's take a look at sheet two. That's nice, kid. But I think maybe we need to change the sheet formats and scale not only on this, but a couple other sheets as well. 
Well, previously, we need to go to each sheet to change its properties. And now in SOLIDWORKS 2017, once you've decided on things like sheet format, scale and projection, you can now choose which sheets to modify. Simply and quickly, a real time saver. This next sheet shows the detail support bracket for the hyperdrive assembly. Well, in SOLIDWORKS 2017, it now lets you emphasize the outline of section views, making things really stand out clearly. <coughs> Another great new feature is for cropped views and detail views is the ability to add jagged outlines. The intensity of the jag can be manipulated and this really helps distinguish between the edge of the model and the edge of the crop. Well, Harm, we need another mounting bracket. There's a mirror image of this one. Well, of course, we could go and create a new mirrored part, but now it's much faster to use the new mirror view capability. You can mirror a view vertically as well as horizontally. Notice that not only do all the views update, but also the dimensions, notes, and tolerances, saving you the time of creating any extra parts. And that's really impressive. Drawings are great, kid, but a real Jedi designer details in 3D using SOLIDWORKS MBD. Manual basic dimensions of size now give you total control over how to dimension the model. It's also much easier to create dimensions in SOLIDWORKS 2017. So you don't need 20 pick surfaces? Yes, Luke. You can now select edges, saving you the time of rotating the model and zooming in. Streamlined adding product manufacturing information. Also, 3D views can now be reordered. This gives you the freedom to capture information as you go before deciding on what's important later, like this view of the model datums. Wow, that looks great. But take a look at this arm. When you get a new version of a model, the new PMI compare tool lets you quickly and easily see which annotation elements have changed. If we look at the model mania parts, you can see the unique dimensions to each phase, as well as changes in tolerance, which may need a different manufacturing process. Wow, that's a real time saver, kid. Next, why don't we take a look at improving the design of Screensaver's helmet and hopefully cheer him up. Oh, can you clear this display up a little bit? Yeah, of course, Han. SOLIDWORKS 2017 now gives you one button to hide all item types, saving you the effort of picking each one individually. Can we trim back the helmet to make it look a bit more streamlined? You sure can, kid. <clears throat> Gotta check out the new offset curve on surface. This will really help out here. Simply select the edge or surface you want to offset and you're away. You can drag the offset and even flip between sides of the intersection. Of course, you can use it just like any other sketch. For example, trimming back a surface. Whoa, that is way faster. No more complex construction geometry. Hey Han, take a look at this. Whoa, I think Chrome really suits them. Well, we use a similar offset curve to drive your surface trim on the eyepiece. And you can see how easy it is to dynamically drag giving you instant feedback to the finished design. How cool is that? Screensaver should definitely see the light after this. I know. A screensaver always complains about how bad the top of his helmet fits. Can we do anything, Harm? Huh? Of course. SOLIDWORKS 2017 now lets you wrap sketches onto any surface. You can even wrap onto multiple surfaces just like this. Creating an emboss is perfect for adding some foam, pa foam pads to hold the helmet together. Oh, he's going to love that. Yeah. Kid, we really need a more efficient way to load cargo onto our rebel ships, but we're running out of time. Well, with SOLIDWORKS 2017, this will be simple. Just drag components into the assembly, and with the new magnetic mains, they automatically snap to other components with predefined references. Notice how the rubber band indicates the possible mates, and when you drop the component, the magnetic mate is added. This is amazing, kid. Can you use these magnetic mates on components that are already assembled? For example, the spur conveyor here. Yeah, of course. Wow, that's a huge time saver to snap those conveyors together. Yeah, but over here, we need to connect this loading conveyor to the main branch. I'll delete this straight section, and add a new conveyor section with a spur. Just snap it into position, and now the loading conveyor can be assembled to the spur with a drag and drop. And with the new magnetic mates, we can reattach the rest of the conveyors to complete the design in record time. That's incredible, kid, but these powerful magnetic mates, are they difficult to set up? No, not at all, Harm. Just define the ground plane, then a the connection point, and the direction to define the mate, and that's it. 
So simple, kid. I think you finished the layout of the conveyor in light speed. Collaboration is critical to us rebels, and now in eDrawings 2017, you can open many more formats, including Inventor, Katia, Creo, iGIS and Step. This came from a design partner in another galaxy using Katia. Wow, that's an awesome droid. And because it's e-drawing, you've got all the capabilities you'd expect, such as accurate measurement. And of course, the product structure of the original data is accurately represented, meaning you see what the designer designed. This is really going to make working with others in the rebellion a whole lot easier, kid. Luke, remember how challenging it was to work with design groups using old Imperial design tools? Well, with SOLIDWORKS 2017, this task is a breeze. We can now directly open CAD files in many formats, such as this inventor file, and assemble it without having to translate it first. No additional files, which means less data to manage. Let's get R2-D2 situated. Well, Han, I've just been notified that this laser model has been updated by a supplier in another galaxy. But we've already added the required mounting features and assembled the laser to the four wings. Well, with the new import capabilities, it's easy to swap out one version of an imported file for another. Just edit the imported feature, in this case a Creo file, and so go and select the new version. The geometry is brought in, but more importantly, none of the features fail because we're maintaining persistent face IDs. Not only that, if we go back to the assembly, we can take a look at the breadcrumbs to see that all of the mates are intact as well. Well, um, that's sure to save the rubber designs a ton of time from working with imported geometry. Well, I think we're ready to take the fight to Lord Screensaver. Let's go, hey. Dun 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 dun, return dun select. What the phantom menace? Put down your mace. You're too late, screensaver. Word has spread through my SolidWorks. Their eyes have been open, they'll never go back. You could have joined me, Luke, but now it's too late. You must pay. Am I bothered? You got a little hand cramp there. You should try eating some bananas. Oh, you're twisting my melon, man. Lord Screensaver, you must see this! Look how easy this is. I just, one, two, and I'm finished! Okay, SolidWorks 2017 is very pretty, but must resist. But Lord Screensaver, look at this new advanced hole wizard. It's brilliant! It is very elegant, General Torrent, but great design isn't everything. Get back to your Imperial design tool immediately. Come on, screensaver. Try it. You know you want to.